posing for the thumbnail. It's like... Hello people of the internet, my name is Tatiana and I am back with another episode of Is it a fit or is it just Pinterest? It's a series where I try on different Pinterest outfits and see how they fit on a mid-sized short person because, you know, most of us aren't models and fit and tall, so it's always interesting to see how outfits translate on different body types. I will share my sizes and height information and everything that's relevant over here. So, you know, you can compare it to your body type in case you decide to ever recreate these outfits as well. Today we are focusing on fall outfits. Most of the ones that I found are actually very neutral and beige tone going into blacks as well. I am, as always, trying to use clothes that I already have at home rather than buying new ones. That's the whole point of these series to, you know, be sustainable and stay on point with the trends with clothes that you might already have at home. I have noticed that long skirts are very trendy now. There's obviously a lot of sweaters. I'm not seeing many colors, which is a little bit sad, but at the same time, I don't really have any warmer clothes that would be super colorful. So it's perfect for the intention of, you know, using what you already have at home. Here are some of the things that I have found on Pinterest boards, just so you get an idea of where this video is going. I do have to say that it's still extremely hot hot outside when I'm filming this video, so hopefully I won't die <laughs> during the process um, because there are a lot of sweaters and a lot of layers happening. Let's see how this goes. Also, I hope my camera won't overheat. It's either me or the camera. Let's see. Let's see who goes first. I feel like such a hypocrite saying that I'm doing these series so that I don't have to buy new clothes and the very first outfit is literally a skirt with all the tags on still on it. Anyways, if you've been on the internet in the past half a year or so, you probably have noticed the resurfacing of these old 2000 style long denim skirts. And I really like the style, but I just haven't really been able to find any skirt that would fit. I have recently ordered this one and I left the tags on because I'm not sure if it suits me or not. Um, but this overall outfit is paired with like <laughs> I need more space. The problem is that I can never show the whole outfit and then I do all these gymnastics turning around like an idiot trying to show the shoes But this time I did put shoes to all of the outfits anyways, this one uh, is paired with knee-high black boots. It's super simple I think this outfit is very comfortable and goes well with a casual situation but would also work for something a little more formal if needed. Still not sure how I feel about the denim skirt. Like it's nice, but how how's the length? I don't know if you can actually see it in the camera. Oh my god, am I gonna climb on the couch again? So this is the length of the skirt and I'm honestly not sure if it's flattering or not, if it's like a weird length and it's making me look shorter. It hits me a little above my ankles, it's like a calf length and I'm not sure if it's flattering for me or if it's making me a little bit shorter. Compared to some longer ones, it is easier to move in this one so I'm quite happy with it. I'm just not sure what it looks like. So. I don't know, let me know if I should keep this one or not, but overall I really like this outfit. It's super low-key, very comfortable, and it would be easy to layer this with like a sweater, cardigan, or even, um, you know, a coat, trench coat, anything. So I think this is one of the outfits that you can easily take into the colder months and then, you know, dress it down again for the warmer ones. Oh my god, I actually lost my breath balancing on the couch. I need to start working out. Wow. Maybe it's the heat though. Or maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, just everything is wrong with me. Outfit number two also features the knee-high boots. 
When I saw this one on Pinterest, I was thinking like, mm, that's giving a little bit of millennial kind of outdated look in a way. But I do have polka dot dress and I think it would be a shame not to wear it uh, in the colder months because as a summer dress, it's perfect. Uh, it's a rouge dress. I actually did like a full on review in another video in case you'd like to see it. I will link it down below. Um, it did shrink though a little bit in the laundry. I feel like it was not this tight on the waist and I'm actually kind of a fan that it's sitting a little more smug on the waist now. So in case you're wondering about the sizing, in case you're buying from Rouge, um, if the dress is made out of viscose, I recommend going with the bigger size, especially if your chest area is a bit larger and your hips and it, you know, might shrink a little bit in the laundry, like what happened to mine, I'm actually quite surprised. Anyways, so the original idea was to wear it with a black sweater. I don't have a similar sweater as the girl in the picture, but I do have a simple black cardigan that normally goes very well with essentially anything. Oh my god, I'm over here. <laughs> So much already. Maybe I leave the bottom one undone. And I think this works kind of. I can't really see if it's messing up my waist or if this is okay because normally I prefer a little more cropped styles when I'm wearing a skirt but I feel like this is a very cozy option but it's still giving very much 2014 style of these like extra saturated videos when they go to a pumpkin patch <laughs> like Bethany Moda, My Life is Ava kind of vibes I'm kind of here for it. I don't know, are we bringing back the tweed fashion or is this just completely horrible? Let me know. <laughs> I feel like it also works if it's undone. I think this is a great transitional outfit. I don't know, I feel comfortable in it. And at this point, I guess I don't even care if it looks horrible, as long as it's comfortable, you know? Hmm. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not sure where the problem is. I have a feeling it might be the length of the skirt. I mean, I already rolled it up originally. It's all the way down to the knees and I'm not sure if that makes it better. Perhaps if it was an actual mini skirt, it would work much nicer. In this state as it is right now, it's not really giving Pinterest board. It's giving more like yesified Amy Farrah Fowler from The Big Bang Theory. Uh, I mean, the boots are carrying the show today, so nothing has changed on that front down there. Yeah, I don't think this really works. I haven't figured out how to wear this skirt. Um, both of these pieces actually used to belong to my mom. I thirsted them from her old high school closet. I'm not sure if I should make this skirt shorter or if I should try to style it a little differently, but I feel like this length is not really appearing anywhere. It also has this like cute little detailing here, um, but I can't show it to match the style because the shirt, the sweater is not tucked in in the Pinterest picture, but I will try and let's see how that looks. But unfortunately, I don't think this is really making it any better. Um, I think it's just honestly the length of the skirt at this point. Or does it work? I'm not sure. It's also giving like 2012 tweed fashion in a way but more like a grandma style. I mean, I barely see it on the little monitor on the camera. It doesn't look too bad though, does it? If it's tucked in. Maybe if I wore a slightly tighter black turtleneck instead of this dark blue one, it might look even nicer. I just wanted to go with the chunkier sweater style that was in the picture. I don't know, let me know what you think. When I saw this combination at first, I was very skeptical because I usually follow the general rule of pairing big bottoms with a small top and a big top with a small bottom. And this includes both pieces that are kind of oversized. Um, I paired it with a 
chunky white sneakers because I don't have any black ones. On me, when I go oversized on both fronts, I feel like it makes me look very short and very wide and it gives me this mom look in a way. I don't hate it, it's comfortable, it would be nice for you know a casual office outfit unless they require you know proper dress code or for like coffee run with your friends because it's super comfortable. Like all of these pieces are perfect for just lounging around. But I'm not sure if it's that flattering. Um, I think I look shorter than I normally do because it's just cutting me off on the lower point even though there is a slit on the side I don't think it's doing that much for me and with the pants also being baggy and longer and kind of crumpling down at the bottom <laughs> I feel like I look like I'm drowning in these clothes um, but maybe, maybe I'm just very skeptical like overall it's not a bad look I just don't think it's for my body type maybe it's also the style of the sweater it's always hard to tell with these outfits because you never really own the exact pieces that the people in the Pinterest photos are wearing so you're just kind of guessing and seeing if it works and i feel like this one didn't pass the vibe check but it's also not the worst overheating so bad this is such a classic one it always looks good. I don't think you can ever go wrong with a similar combination like this. It's giving casual but also formal at the same time. It's just perfect. I tend to gravitate towards this French girl style where it's a little bit messy but still somehow put together. I think it looks amazing. But these kind of outfits I don't feel the need to accessorize because this all put together is just enough like it makes it look like you put a little bit of thought into it but at the same time it's super laid back i didn't pair this outfit with boots like the girl in the picture i went for my trusty loafers that are a little bit chunky like they have a chunky sole and i paired it with classic white socks with a little bit of a you know fun element uh, there's a flower, I'm not sure if you can see it from all the way back there, but it's the little things that make outfits like this a little more fun. And I think this would totally work if you do a more fun color for your t-shirt or, you know, different colored pants. I think it's just so effortless and chic and this is the kind of outfit that you can't go wrong with. Oh no, I had a color wrong the whole time. Hope you can see it. I don't feel like redoing this. I'm overheating. One thing though, if you get blazers like this and they have the butt flap, make sure to cut it. You look ridiculous if you don't. It restrains your movement and it just doesn't look good. These flaps are meant to be separated. There is a little string that holds it together often because they want to make sure that it looks right when it's hanging or when they are transporting it but once you actually start wearing it you're supposed to cut it thank me later you will look much better all of the outfits in this video are a little bit bland and boring it's all kind of neutral colors so when i saw the one with the green vest and the mini skirt i felt like i wanted to recreate it but at the same time i didn't really have a matching anything <laughs> i don't have a white turtleneck i don't have a black mini skirt and also the sweater looks very different from the reference picture so you know take it with a grain of salt it's really just inspired it gives a little bit of extra color to the video today and i think it works honestly even though it's not a mini skirt i think this is even more suitable for a fall outfit when it gets colder you don't always want to walk around with a mini skirt and quite frankly tights are so uncomfortable I don't know I wasn't able to find maybe ones that would be nice but all of them just feel like they restrict my butt flow and if I go a size up they are just massive on the foot or just like go all the way up to my armpits anyways I'm derailing this is the outfit I think it looks cute it's very simple um, it's more youthful compared to the other outfits that I tried on today and I really like it. 
I do think though this might look very nice with uh, white pants so I will try that as well. Oh yeah and I paired it with the loafers that you already saw before. Nothing too special. Um, I don't have any fun green shoes that would make this outfit even more lively and I also don't have boots that the girl is wearing in the picture but I guess it's irrelevant considering how much I have changed uh, the whole outfit compared, compared to the reference photo. Here is the version with the light pants. I genuinely thought it would look better but somehow maybe it's the fit of the pants. Um, I feel like the other version actually looked better after all. Um, Maybe it's just because really it's too tight on the waist, on the hips, hard to tell. Also the black loafers would not work with this one so I would probably go with the white chunky sneakers that I have already shown today. I don't know. Yeah, definitely works better with the black pants. This outfit is another perfect example of how you can transition outfits through all the seasons just by layering them. Um, I think for the summer this is perfect. I paired it with a chunky sneakers, chunky white sneakers and I kept the socks that I've had throughout this video and I just have a simple cream colored cardigan here. Um, I don't have a sweater that the girl is wearing in the picture or anything similar but I feel like this works very well. Um, my mom actually made this sweater for me. I feel like if I didn't steal her old clothing or if she didn't make a bunch of things for me from scratch, I wouldn't have half of the things that I'm wearing now. So thank you, mom. <laughs> I think this matches actually perfectly. Like even the buttons on the sweater uh, match the color of the skirt and with the, with the knit on top, it makes it very cozy, very fall ready. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these chunky sneakers as a part of the outfit. I think I would prefer something a little more sleek, but I am following the inspiration photo. Um, yeah, I'm loving this. This is super cozy. And if it gets even colder, you know, you could layer stockings, even though I hate it, but I think it would work nicely or, you know, switch to... Um, a long sleeved t-shirt or a turtleneck or something like that and it would just work very well and even if you need to put a trench coat on top you can take it all the way into the winter months and it's still the same basics so i'm actually in love with this one that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching i definitely had fun creating these outfits and i have a bit of a more clear vision on what i can wear this fall honestly these videos help me not to buy anything new necessarily because i already have so many pieces that i can use in different ways so hopefully this will also inspire you to go through your closet and use the pieces that you own also make sure to check out my other videos subscribe because i make these uh, is it a fit or is it a Pinterest videos more often? I think I will make another one for fall because I have found a lot of inspiration on Pinterest that I haven't included in this video. I think I will focus more on a spooky season kind of vibes in the next one. I will go more into oranges, reds and blacks. But let's see, let me know if this is something that you would like to watch. Also, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I always try to match my lipstick to the theme of the video. Like for the Barbie one, I wore a hot pink one, now I'm wearing kind of an orangey one the little things that make a difference anyways thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought in the comments below and i will see you next time bye what how do i what <laughs>